Hey, we've talked about how to hold the stick, right? We started without the stick, then we put the stick in our hands, and now I want to talk a little bit about how the wrist operates when you have a stick in your hand. One thing I can tell you is you don't want your wrist very stiff. You need that wrist nice and supple so that it can handle all the rebound that's coming its way. Remember, we're talking about partnership between you and your sticks. And so what I want you to do is I want you to have a stick in your hand just the way we talked about, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to do this. Your thumb touches the TH or a third of the bottom of whatever stick you're using. You have your first joint lined up of your first finger. These three fingers, they're going to bend at the middle knuckle. You touch it. And now I want to take the stick that I'm not doing that with. I'm going to stick it underneath. You could do this with the other hand. You could go like this. It doesn't really matter. I'm choosing again to use my left hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove how relaxed your wrist is going to be. I'm going to gently and slowly lift up the stick in my left hand with the stick that's beneath it. What this is doing is it's showing you that my thumb and my index finger act like a handle that's connected to my wrist. And so if I don't fight it, the stick just comes up. And I'd love for you guys to join me with this. So you can feel it. I think the number one thing that most people do is it's instinctive. You hold on to the stick and you grip it. I don't use the word grip. I usually talk about how do you hold the stick. When you grip it, you know, it makes you feel like you're choking. I don't know about you, but I don't like choking. It's not usually a very good feeling. So we don't want to choke, right? We want to keep this nice and open. So by doing this exercise, you stick your hand underneath the stick that you're working with. And what you're going to do is you're going to gently lift the stick up. And you're not lifting this wrist up by itself. You're not using your left hand to lift up. You're using your right hand, in this case, to lift up your left wrist. I am pushing against the stick. These two fingers are a handle that are lifting this up. So I'm going to do it again, just like this. If I was tensioned, right? If I was tensioned up, if I was using a lot of tension, let's see what that would look like. I would be fighting. You're not seeing any of that. So let's do it one more time, okay? I'm going to have my hand just like this. I'm going to take my right stick, in this case, underneath my left stick, and I'm going to just slowly, so I can really feel, I can really feel that left wrist move up. Again, you could do it with your other hand if you want. And I feel that my left wrist is just being lifted up because the handle which is my thumb and my index finger, are holding onto the stick. That stick is being pushed up. This is holding on to this, so everything goes up. Great. Hey, I've got one last exercise for you. And I call this ping pong. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to hold the stick. We see how supple our wrist can be. Right? And what we're going to do is you're going to stick that same stick that you were using before underneath whatever hand you're trying to prove this with. I'm doing my left hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kicking the stick up. And that's going to simulate rebound like this. I'm going to flick it up. If you look at that, you're going to see how relaxed that wrist is. I'm going to do it again. This hand is giving this stick direction and energy. And this wrist is just free to accept that pretend rebound. It's not lifting up, it's just responding to the weight of this stick and this momentum. I'm going to do it again. You guys should join me too. Stick 
In this case, stick, if you wouldn't mind, your right hand underneath your left hand. You could do it with the other hand again. And I want you to ping pong, kick the stick up. Just flick this wrist, have it flick this one up. And the only way it'll work is if he's relaxed. Hey, I just want to thank you all for joining me here today at experiencejumps.com. The exercises that I'm going to be showing everybody are always going to be dealing with natural and free motion. And today we were talking about how to hold the sticks. The next lesson is going to be dealing with how to really, really, really move that wrist and have it being done with a practice pad and a snare drum so you can really feel rebound and you can also hear the sound of a real drum being used. And I promise you this, I promise you that the sound of your drums are going to be very different. And I can also promise you this, you'll be able to play drums for a lifetime using these demonstrations as a template. So thanks so much and I'll see you next time.